The recipient of the Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award is uh, Black Box Micah. This award is a special one for me because, first of all, uh, I think I mentioned this, I made a list of to-dos and goals for myself before my 3.0. This was not on it, so therefore this is a very pleasant surprise for me. Uh, we had ups and downs throughout, obviously, building this journey, and especially last year was a tough one, uh, coming all the way from Amazon issues to Google and, and all sorts of things. So. Uh, this not only is a recognition for uh, myself, but for the team, really. So I uh, do very much appreciate the, this award from the Richmond, of Chamber, Richmond Chamber of Commerce. You went to a time where your business was going through a really rough time. How did you and your company ride through that wave? So last year was a really difficult one. Um, overnight, we received an email from Amazon that were terminated. Um, from selling on Amazon.com and that's because and actually Amazon doesn't actually tell you why you're being shut down but they just tell you that in a way that um, you have like issues with your account we didn't know what to do uh, to a point where we literally emailed I think it was Jeff at Amazon.com or Jeff.Bezos at Amazon.com and that email actually exists and one of the board of directors at Amazon actually picked up our email and they reopened it for an investigation. We had to hire a lawyer and we found out that a competitor in the US were writing fake reviews. And these Amazon AI would pick up these uh, keywords um, that are dangerous or fire hazard and stuff like that and they shut you down. And we, our team didn't realize because we didn't know like these type of practices would ever exist um, and so we got shut down. So we had to work towards fixing it. Uh, but again, it was very, very difficult uh, to get that. Uh, even when we got back on Amazon, it was very difficult to get back ourselves again. And last year, we made a small, tiny coding error and we fell out of Google completely for about a few days and that needed a lot of work to get back up again. Um, I guess just persistence and at the end of the day, set a goal. Like, you know, no matter how difficult it is, 
you just have to get through, right? So for me, I had to, uh, uh, I mean, we were very transparent about this, about with our team, because uh, it's, it's better off just telling everyone what's happened, what we're doing, and what, what we're going to uh, go through for the next couple of months. So that's what we did. We had a ton of um, just overall issues because we had this growing pain at the end of the day last year. Uh, but uh, um, it, it just, just like I myself realized that I'm the only one that I can change for the business because at the end of the day, I'm the owner of the business. Uh, employees are uh, not as the owners, then they're not the owners. And therefore, I can't expect my employees to change for the business, but rather I can. And therefore, I think that's where I quickly adapted into like a, like a working mode and, and really get stuff done. And just within a few weeks, uh, especially for Google, we got ourselves back up again. And this was literally like the most busiest time of the year. And last year was extremely difficult, um, but we're kicking ass this year. We've been adding more categories of products and we've been making more trips out to Asia to see our suppliers as a team. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for 2020 with everyone here. <laughs> hmm. What do you want them to remember or to think of? Oh, uh, I never really thought about these questions. <laughs> Although I do look up to people that uh, have operated or operating companies for more than 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. And then when they do these um, 50th anniversary parties and stuff like that, I wish I could invite everyone that worked here and uh, we can you know talk over back in the days and how hard it was or how fun we how much fun we had and so forth uh, and i think that's how i want to be remembered and if there are uh, past employees or current employees that are starting new businesses or uh, has an idea i would love to bounce back ideas and help where i can